Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Factorio campaign with Bob's mods. I found some sulfur. We need that sulfur pretty badly. Stop beeping at me, you stupid game. Um, I know, the robots are idiots and they're just flying around doing nothing. It's annoying, isn't it? Something is being killed. You're killing my actual walls. Bunch of little bastards. I gotta get these, I, I just, between videos here, I had these guys not doing this so that hopefully they could... I mean, they've been sitting out here for like 10 minutes. These are idiots. They're not smart. Alright. And you, again, of course you're gonna come over here and immediately be not smart. I'm gonna name you... S Timothy. Timothy's such a stupid name. If you're, if you're named Timothy, it's because you're dumb. Sorry, that's very rude, I know, but... Ugh. Alright. We have this area here. And we do know that um, as far as like energy and pollution go, the actual um, Mark II drills are better based on the math that we were doing before. So let's go ahead and uh, mine this area out pretty, pretty well. Actually, can we afford to... Um, No, I'm gonna just need to add an extra little bit. Ah, eh, what the hell, we'll throw a large mining drill here to help out with this area. Okay, let's throw down a few more Melters. So I've been thinking about moving the smelting area, and it just hasn't really happened yet. Now this area out here is actually still not safe, so I need, I need to be a, little, be a little bit more cautious in what I'm doing. And of course, they're probably trying to remove stuff from everywhere, because I told them to. But that doesn't mean they're not idiots. I insist that they are idiots. Stop removing trees. Start building the factory. Go. Now you're going to complain about a lack of all the things. Yeah, des desperately need to get a main bus. And it looks like we are lacking repair packs. Yes. If we had a main bus and repair packs are being created, that would be great. However, we don't. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of this thing because we have plenty of solar panels. For now. I'm just gonna shut it down. We gotta we gotta move stuff. It's just it's gotta happen. Which means that the steel doesn't need to come down here anymore. So clear that all up. Clear that up. Clear that. Clear that. Really you can just clear this whole thing out. Except not this thing, because that's gonna prevent it from running. And we can push the iron smelting down quite a ways. I was going to dump my inventory, but I never did. Here, stone, that, that. Electric energy units I clearly don't need. Iron I do need. Glass I want. Silicon wafers, alumina, sodium hydroxide, tin plate, silicon plate, lead plate. All this crap. And copper wire, solder, 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 whatever you want to call it. You can call it whatever you want. You're wrong, but you can call it what you want. Alright, now we have a nice little bit of inventory space. Okay, um, where to do some smelting? Well, we got this nice big huge open space down here. Logistically, if I wanted to get this iron down here, this thing's kind of in the way. The actual iron is going there. Why don't we just put some, like, right here for now?
do something like that, and uh, I'm gonna have to again until we get this main bus operational. Go throw a bunch of this crap in there, and can I steal some gears from somewhere? Please. I want gears. Cancel all this stuff so I'm not making these gears myself. I'll also just go steal some regular inserters if I can. There are none! What about up here? There are none. Well, it would help, I suppose, to get the current iron setup working a little bit better. After lab efficiency, I want to get the thing that gives me a better chemical plant. And I also want to throw some transport belts, inserters. Okay, where would be the, the better chemical plant, I wonder? This gives us chemical, there it is right there, chemical plant too. Good guess. Let's go for that. Alright, so we're going to put some transport belt in there. We're going to put some inserters in there. And then it wants... Yeah, I need a whole bunch of electric furnaces, but... We don't have those being made automatically. Look how sparse these belts are. This is not good. We're not going to make regular ammo anymore. We've got plenty of ammo. Don't I actually have a... Uh, I think I still do have the piercing rounds being made. Maybe not, I forget. I might have shut that down at one point. It looks like I might have, yeah. So you guys are still running like never, because there's never enough sulfur, because we're just barely making sulfur. Could go pilfer that sulfur deposit that we found. can also try to, uh, to get these things finished before I just wander away. Here, take those 16. At least get those started. Need 8 more. Fortunately, we do have enough to make them. Very good! Still primarily being attacked to the east. This iron ore... Before we do much else, I do want to inspect this wall and make sure that it is complete. Some of this stuff is just kind of silly the way that it ended up getting built. Yeah, that's annoying. Wow, just two turrets really does do a pretty spectacular job of dealing with that. I mean, it is pretty, pretty damn impressive. Need more construction robots. I haven't been making any robots in quite a while. Mostly due to a lack of batteries. Lack of batteries is from the lack of sulfur. I was going down there to do the freaking sulfur. And then we got attacked. Four hundred and thirty-four electric engine units. That might be a bit excessive. And Seventeen new flying robot frames, but without the batteries to run them, it doesn't really matter. And there's no battery production over here. There's just no sulfur. The only sulfur we're getting is from this little tiny bit of coal cracking. Alright, well let's just try to make it bigger. Um, I've got got chemical plants. We're about to get better chemical plants, but for now, let's just do what we can with the chemical plants we can we can make.
Alright, pumps, lights. I have lights. Chemical plants, I've got a couple of those. Inserters, another couple chests. Needed that extra water pump. Still making chemical plants for them though. Uh, how you doing on like underground pipe and everything? You got that? Cool. Okay. Um, still, I'm gonna throw some underground pipe in there because I know that they we're not making it. We don't have a, ch uh, a thing yet. There's another chemical plant. There's another couple pumps. There's your extra lights. Still need more chemical plants. Which requires more of these. And we do not have enough circuit production to maintain science. Like, science... It's really starting to go slow. Yep. No blue science because there's no battery production, I think. Yep. No battery production. Oh, that's what we're working on. So, it'll get sorted. The only thing left to do then here is to connect in the, uh... Of course, get more chemical plants into the network. So this is again, they're still not going to run very efficient. Doesn't really matter, I don't care. It's still three times more sulfur production than what I had. Whether or not they're running in an efficient ratio or not really makes no difference. Um, it's less efficient than figuring out the right ratio because we've got more hardware being put into the setup, but it's just some iron, really. Iron and some steel. These are cheap. They're just basic electric or basic chemical plants. It's not like we're using really advanced ones or anything. And it works, so there. Alright, so this actually did get built. We should reroute the iron up into there. So that's the iron output line. Let's do you that way for now. And speed up that corner for now. Uh, no, it's not right. There we go. And I'm just going to immediately route this stuff down. Corner. All right, so we're going to shut that down. The steel one is still just running off of one of these things anyway, which we'll leave that one functional for now, but these ones are going to move away, and this is going to allow us to tap this iron resource a little bit faster. Look at the resource monitor, we can see we still have 262,000 iron here, so... It's not actually like we're running out, it's just that I'm not... I'm not utilizing it very well. Finally, the robots are responding quickly to my flying, my issues, my commands, so that means that it's time for them to push out the walls further and do some of the other stuff that they're they've been procrastinating on stupid bastards never really like these robots pollution is um, you know being right up against them hasn't really stopped them from like they're not attacking or anything not really not in big groups Okay, so, sulfur production. <laughs> How about that sulfur production, eh? It doesn't even show up on the list. Well, there's so many different objects, though. Kind of makes sense.
halfway through chemical processing and being able to upgrade probably the initial two chemical plants will probably be enough to get these these ratios working a little bit better. Uh, blue science is happening slowly. Batteries are being made up here a little bit. You know what I should do is request batteries, and that way some of the battery production will come to me, and I can throw some more robots up in the air instead of just making more and more frames, which, you know, I've got 25 frames, but I can't use the frames. Let's do, like, um... Do that. Can't use the frames because in order to use the frames, I need batteries. Some of the 25 logistic robots we could have out there. Okay. Um... So that got moved a little bit. I'm, I'm liking that. That's better. Modules are a long way off. So we can't, like, reduce power usage or anything. Awfully dark over here. That's stone rock? How dare you. Now what? Now where do we go? What do we work on next? This thing continues to run out of fuel. We happen to have a, uh, an electric furnace on our hand that we could just upgrade it. Done. And how about the removal of stuff down here? Did that end up happening? I think this this copper gosh is it dark basic circuit boards please well I'm gonna I'm gonna push the wall a little bit further out, just so that I can see clearly how thick and solid that wall is. And when I say push the wall out, of course, I don't mean push the wall out, I mean push the trees back. Beep beep! Huh. It is tempting maybe to move some of this production around and just get it a little bit more organized. But when it's working, you know, I just don't want to mess with it. Might actually have enough landfill. Let's just say I only want to have like 256, so that's 500. Let's keep like a thousand landfill at most. That's a lot of stone that I've been turning into landfill. But... Could fill in some of this water. We're not using... No, we are pumping water from here. Let's get rid of that. I know it's more power, but I just... This is so much cleaner. In my mind, at least. Pipes don't go all over the place. We're almost mined out on this stuff. Water be gone. Same thing here, actually. I mean, honestly, I, I just, I think I'd rather use a pump. For 50 kilowatts. There might be times where I actually blow this stuff up and add water back in, but...
That isn't today. Nice. So much space. Beautiful. And, yeah, you are... At one point, you were having a hard time keeping up, it looks like. Because you're not actually backed up all the way. Alright, let's get a uh, larger and minor. And help out up there, and you can kind of go here. Tap that a little bit better. Let's put um, put the stuff in the resource monitor. So that we can actually have a, an alert when this stuff runs out. All this our tin ore field. Add you to the tin ore field. Only 6,000. So now we will get an alert when it's gone, which is quite useful. These things are too close to me. I want to push them back. And that'll have to do for now. Okay, just lacking construction robots. And I would be making construction robots if I had some batteries on me. I made one. You guys are all waiting for a charge, aren't you? Bunch of dummies. What you gotta do is you gotta destroy it and then put it back down so that they'll recalculate like where to where to recover. Otherwise they're all gonna just sit and wait for that one little charging point to do it. Which is rather silly. Um we do another one of those gates. Just wanna clean this up. I don't like seeing that. They're still sending these itty bitty tiny attacks over. Okay, chemical plant two and electric chemical furnace. So, um, what would be nice next, I guess maybe we could do better drills or maybe some. These guys are going to require. Electronic logic boards, which is a little bit ways off. Better pump jacks requires brass, so we might as well get brass and stuff done. Got zinc, polishing, cobalt, lithium. We might already have brass. Alloy processing. What does that give us? The electric metal mixing furnace. That's something we should probably have. Okay, um, bum bum bum. I was doing something and now I forgot because I got distracted by the technology that just got finished. There's more iron here. Need to push everything away from these two deposits so that I can isolate them. Oh, right. They needed, uh... That was what it was. They needed more of these. Set up the main bus, Arumba. Set it up. Get all this crap being made automatically so the robots can put stuff everywhere. Alright. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do the main bus. That's the plan. Gotta do the main bus. I mean, at least there's more robots flying around. I'm almost tempted just to throw these ones into the air so we can get them helping out, but um, without a main bus, without stuff all being made automatically, lights, um, inserters, transport belt, and all of it just being on the bus and added to the network, it's just, it's going to be chaos. Give me that battery. Give me that battery. You know, we could make it so that these ones um, just feed directly into a 
into making robots instead of going into the network. Nah, it'll be fine. All right, I'm gonna take a break here. It gets more and more disorganized. Let's do this real one last real quick thing. God, these videos, I end up trying to make them like the same length and then they just all vary so much. Let's get some fancy pants chemical furnaces. Apparently to do that, we need to make regular chemical furnaces. I should be making like some steel ball bearings, steel bearings, steel gear wheels. So let's get those set up. Look at how fast these robots are, though. They're getting fast. And it's only the Mark II. Alright, I need you to make some fancy pants stuff. It's gonna be... Steel gear wheels. And steel ball bearings. Steel bearing balls. Sure. And all you need for that is steel. And you will make... You have less than... Less than a hundred steel, steel gear wheels. And you're gonna make... You have less than a hundred... Steel bearing balls. Of course, you make them 12 at a time, so that's not really that many. Okay, so the chemical plant 2. 300 kilowatts, crafting speed of 2. Compare that to the regular one. It is 210 kilowatts, crafting speed of 1.25. So we're going from 1.25 to 2, so 2 divided by 1.25. 60% more efficient, 60% more production, 300 kilowatts divided by 210, it's 60% more production for 43% more power. Much big, much, much big upgrade. So let's start off with the first step, get these things running non-stop. Actually now we have a coal shortage. Good. I don't know, I want to use the coal, I want to turn it into something. I think what I need to do as well is, um... Put you like that. So that that spot's never, never occupied. Okay, that should help out with the coal shortage. Let's make sure the corners are fast, since this is starting to be kind of a high, higher capacity belt. And that should hopefully get these guys running nearly non-stop. Primary one is running non-stop. This one needs that increased throughput. Now that you're running non-stop, you should be running non-stop. These two should be the same speed, because that's just what that should do. Nearly non-stop. That's good. Which means that you're just running whenever there's enough. Which is fine. It's not very often, but we're making silver. That works a little bit better. Okay. Alright, like I said, I gotta take a break here. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.